Jonathan Weiner is the author of three books of poetry. He's also the editor of At the Barriers on the Poetry of Tom Gunn, all from Chicago. His most recent book, Berlin Notebook, Prose About the Refugee Crisis, was published by the Los Angeles Review of Books earlier this year and funded by a Guggenheim Fellowship. His poems and essays have appeared in Best American Poetry, the New York Review of Books, The Nation, The American Scholar, Harvard Review, The New Republic, Brick, and elsewhere. He is a professor of English at the University of Maryland and lives in Washington, D.C. with his family. Thank you very much. I'm Josh Weiner. I'm going to read uh, a poem. The poem is called To Disturb Profoundly the Senses, and it's entirely made up of language from the so-called torture memos penned by the notorious Bush Six uh, in the Office of Legal Counsel for the President. Uh, one of the most difficult books I've ever read, some point in the middle of working my way through them, I felt like I was discovering a very dark pattern that corresponded to something like um, a poetic pattern. So the poem is a kind of deconstruction of that language and um, works in the mode of a collage. And the title, To Disturb Profoundly the Senses, is uh, one of the definitions of torture that uh, you'll find in those memos. To disturb profoundly the senses, an unclassified narrative from the Office of Legal Counsel for the President. You have asked for the standards of conduct. For an act to constitute, it must inflict what actions reach the threshold of choice that is difficult to endure. Drawing distinctions among gradations, for example, severe, mild, moderate, substantial, extreme, intense, excruciating, or agonizing is obviously not an easy task. We think the meaning of severe is relatively straightforward. A totality of the circumstances approach, reservations, understandings, declarations, deterioration of language function, an impermissible rewriting the inability to retain any new information. Obsessions are intrusive thoughts positioned against the walling wall. Such compulsions or obsessions must be time consuming. The avoidance canon has special force. Our starting point must be the language employed to watch the torture of others. This canon of construction, some sort of escalating fashion, culminating with, though not necessarily ending with, technique, the uncertainty of what will happen next. The only way he can influence his surrounding environment where statutes couple words or phrases, the mere mention of which sends chills down one's spine. We also understand that you do not have any facts in your possession contrary to the facts outlined here, which may ultimately be useful to us when pieced together, you on-site psychologists. 10 techniques that you believe will dislocate expectations generally lose their effectiveness after several repetitions, of course in no way are intended to be an exhaustive list. Z, showed signs of symptomatic nervous system arousal, which you think was possibly fear. Under this calculus, the nation's right to self-defense has been triggered to take a specific act out of context, the chiffon method, and buttress the inference. An individual placed in the box even an individual with a fear of insects would not reasonably feel threatened with severe physical pain or suffering if a caterpillar was placed in the box. 
Other signals that the words to which it attaches are of the same kind, type, or class as the more specific item previously listed. You would like to place Z in a cramped confinement box with an insect. There are no cases that analyze with the lowest boundary of what constitutes fear or melancholy, a good faith belief, what is already obvious from the texts. In the same motion of the grasp, the individual is drawn toward the interrogator, the emotional love approach. We reach this conclusion based on the clear language that there can be no limitation to try to define the precise meaning would cross the threshold, that permissible meaning which fits most logically and comfortably into the body. Daniel Ellsberg is my personal hero. He joins us uh, by video 